I'm Clyde Mosley. This is my shop. Inside the lathe is drilled with a number of equally spaced holes and you can stop the machine at any point by sticking a steel rod into the holes in the shaft and stop it from turning. You have three different positions here to give you different uh, measurements other than the measurement that's on the shaft. Twelve positions on the shaft. You can use this hole for one and this hole for the next one and you wind up with 24 positions. Now, a simpler method is to use an indexing plate on the machine and I have one here that's homemade, which I use all the time, and prefer, actually. You stand at this end of the machine. I'll come around and show you. <clears throat> and you can see that the indexing wheel has divisions on it. There are 12 major divisions on the wheel. And then there are divisions in the middle of the 12, giving you 24 positions. And then the wheel is divided to one degree angles all the way around, so you have 360 positions. In order to use it, you set the indexing wheel to the edge of the gauge, and you put a clamp on it. Now the lathe cannot turn and you can go back to your work using the tool rest and the ordinary carving tools and carve V grooves, lines, or gouge flutes in the piece one at a time as you move the indexing wheel around to the different divisions like that. This is a hand operation. The machine is not turning when you do this.